Yo, what's going on guys? JV here and today I have some more MLB The Show 20 content for you. In today's video, we're going to talk about the new World Series card that just dropped for making it to the World Series. And that is this card here. Bang! 99 overall, Willie Mays. And as you can see, this card is just a monster. He has 125 contact and 118 contact versus righties and lefties. High power as well as 111 versus righties and 118 versus the left side. 107 vision, great fielder. He's got 98 fielding and 95 arm, 97 excel. The speed is high. He's got everything you want for him to be an end game card or a card in your lineup. Now, I don't really know where I'm going to be putting him as I just got the 99 Trout last night. I have Prestige, Larry Walker, and Wright, who I don't think I really want to touch. Griffey's on his way. I also have, you know, just a plethora of outfielder cards, and I feel like all of us do right at this point. But this 99 Willie Mays is definitely going to find itself on my team somewhere, whether he's in a rotational role or on the bench, whatever it may be. He's just too cool of a card and too good of a card not to use. Now, real quickly, let's take a look at his quirks here. He has hitting machine, bomber, 2020 vision, walker, soft hands, quick reflexes, cannon, sniper, and speedster, along with unbreakable and pressure cooker. Like I said, just an overall awesome, awesome card, and I cannot wait to get him. Like I said, he is going to be one of the World Series cards you can collect for making it to 900 in ranked seasons. As you can see, here are your other options. You can either take the Mike Piazza, Ted Williams, Pujols, or the card that dropped today, the Willie Mays. I will definitely be going with Willie Mays. I think about 95% of us will be. So yeah, I just wanted to show off the Willie Mays real quick. As I said, he is what you get when you get to the World Series in ranked seasons. And then they have a bonus, obviously, for 1,100 and 1,200, as you can see, per usual, right? Also... MLB The Show also gave us a sneak peek at what the Team Infinity cards are going to be, so we're going to take a look at those right now. All right, so as you can see it, the new Team Infinity cards, the MLB The Show finest that are going to drop Friday. So here's the first sneak peek, right? They gave us Nelson Cruz from the Minnesota Twins. All right, so as you can see it, the new Team Infinity cards, the MLB The Show finest that are going to drop Friday. So here's the first sneak peek, right? They gave us Nelson Cruz from the Minnesota Twins. Pretty good looking card here. I also love this card art that they gave us this year. A lot of people were kind of on and off about it. Initially, I might've thought, eh, but the more I look at it, the more I see it. I'm just absolutely loving this card art. But as you can see, 99 overall, Nelson Cruz from the Minnesota Twins. Absolute insane power numbers. He's He's got pretty good fielding stats, I guess you could say, as far as an arm goes. Speed at 32, though, really worries me. I know my camera's in the way, but the 32 speed, as you can see there, is just kind of worrisome. So something to keep an eye on, but an overall good card. Let's check out the next one that they showed us. All right, next up is the first baseman from the Atlanta Braves, Freddie Freeman. Another card that just absolutely smokes right-handed pitching. He's got the 103 vision, as you can see. A lot of people in my stream today over at Twitch were, were talking about how weak his contact and power was against lefties. I might be able to agree with him just a little bit. I would like to see plus 93 plus, you know, maybe 95 plus from each side, because at the end of the day, we're talking about a guy who's probably going to win the MVP award in the NL. I'd like to see maybe a little bit better on the left side, but I'll take what we can get right. A 99 Freddie Freeman, absolute beast. He's also third Third base eligible, who's also a pretty good fielder. Uh, so yeah, overall great card. And Freddie Freeman, one of those guys who has a beautiful swing. Absolutely beautiful swing. So you got to take that into account. He's probably going to play a little bit higher than these numbers. But yeah, Freddie Freeman was the second guy they showed us. Let's take a look at uh, the next one. All right, so next up we have center fielder from the Seattle Mariners, Kyle Lewis. Overall well-balanced card here. I was kind of up in arms on who are they going to really select for the Seattle Mariners. I thought they could have went a couple directions. They end up going with Kyle Lewis, and I don't hate this card. Obviously, it's not going to be the greatest card in the world, but a good piece of content and a, and a pretty well-balanced card, and I think Mariners fans would, would enjoy this one. So yeah, not too much to talk about with him. You kind of see what you get. Overall, pretty balanced card. You know, above average speed, above average in the field, and then he can really hit against both sides of the plate with, with pretty good power numbers. So yeah, Kyle Lewis, center fielder from the Seattle Mariners, the third one they show us. Let's check out the next one. All right, so next up we have David Fletcher, shortstop from the Anaheim Angels. 
or the Los Angeles Angels. I'm always going to call them Anaheim. It just makes me feel better. I always think of Angels in the outfield Anaheim. So to me, they're always going to be the Anaheim Angels. But anyways, they have David Fletcher at short. He can also play second, third, left, and right. Do not sleep on this card. He is a base hit machine, a doubles machine. He has such a beautiful swing. So don't let those power numbers woe you because he really can swing it. And he's really good gap to gap. 118 on the vision. Really good fielder. Pretty pretty good card. He stands a little short in the box at 5'9", but at the end of the day, David Fletcher has a buttery smooth swing. I'm going in, you know, to enjoy using him, especially in some team builds, maybe a, you know, 5'10 and shorter team build, but at the end of the day, overall, pretty good piece of content, and I believe that is the last one they showed. I don't think there was anybody after that. Nope. So that's going to do it. They only showed us those four cards today. Pretty good start. There's a couple cards there that look really good. Freeman, Nelson Cruz, for example. I'm excited to use the David Fletcher. We'll be getting more cards as we move forward. I'm positive of. So in the next couple videos, I'll show off more of the, you know, Team Affinity 4 slash MLB The Show Finest cards that they're giving us. But at the end of the day, yeah, man, a, a bunch of good content. The Willie Mays looks great. The Finest cards are going to be fun. We're going to have a lot of cool themes and team builds. So that's exciting. But that'll do it for the video. I appreciate you guys for watching. Do not forget, thumbs up, like the video if you enjoyed what you saw. Do not forget to subscribe and maybe turn your notification bells on if you want to see more content in the future. It would be greatly appreciated. But until then, everybody have a good day. Take care and uh, yeah, go Tribe.